Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Blades and Beats. Out here at Central Green Park. It's been raining off and on today, but it's no big deal. Yeah, it's been two weeks since I caught me a bass. And I tried everything. Lures, worms, nothing. Just catching a bunch of bluegills. Hopefully, today, our luck will change. Anyway, I just want to say thank you very much, guys. Thank you for all of you. Um, thank you for all your support. We hit a new milestone. We finally got 100 subscribers. So, for this Friday, I figure I'll do a challenge. Completely new. And I seriously doubt if any of you have seen it. I will attempt to go fishing without a pole. And I will simply use my pocket fishing kit and hopefully we can catch something. But for right now, let's do some fishing and see we, if we can catch us a bass today. I'll talk to you later. You know, if you guys are looking for some really unique and original, all custom designed tees, anything from your fishing, patriotic, Christian based, and just funny t-shirts, t-shirts like this, all designed by me or my wife, come check it out at lumenpath.net. And thank you very much, guys, for all your support. Yeah, that's the problem that I've been facing. I said, the past couple of weeks, the temperature's been in the 90s. And when the temperature has been in the 90s, I've been having a, such a hard time trying to catch bass. So, the setup that I have, I have me a size 4 octopus hook. And I already have my gulp window on there. I know you're supposed to use a jig head. But I found that I have a lot more success using... A regular hook than I do with jig it. Of course I have B1 split shot and I have me the clear slip bower. We'll give it a shot with the gulp minnow first then we'll try it out with a fluke and some other lures. Hopefully today we can catch us a bass. Ooh. Whoa! There it is, folks! Caught something! <laughs> there it is! Yeah! Cool! Our first bass in two weeks! There we go, folks! First bass in two weeks! Caught on the Berkeley Gulp Minnow! Little guy. Still, I'm happy. <laughs> Not too shabby. Probably about a quarter pound little bass. There it is, folks. Well, that works. I want to try something else, folks. Um, I know I picked it up last week. And I just uh, put it in here to consolidate it with everything. But this is actually the Berkeley Realistic Minnow. This is the 2 inch about it. So we'll give it a shot. And using the Berkeley Realistic Minnow. Yes, there we go. Oh, missed it. <laughs> wow. My first hit. One of my first hit. Using the realistic minnow. 
Okay, folks, we've been out here for over an hour now. So far, caught us only one bass. Got a few hits on the gulp minnow. Almost landed my first bass using a fluke, but haven't caught anything else, so I'm just gonna go back with the old fashioned. Be trying out some worms. I'd rather be catching something, that's for sure. Okay. Let's give the worm a try. Usually, if everything else fails, the one bait that still works. There we go. <laughs> Good size. Cut ourselves a bluegill, folks. About a six and a half inch bluegill. Caught it on the worm. Not too shabby. If none of the lures works, usually with the worms, you still can catch something, even if they are a bunch of bluegills. <laughs> wow this one's even bigger it looks like if there's catfish in it and here i will uh, use it as cut bait but i don't think there is catfish in here anyway this is uh like uh, about the same size as the other one about six and a half inch bluegill and we are back at the little pond we spent a little bit of time at Center Green. I didn't really do much. We'll give it a shout out here, see what we can do. Talk to you later. This is what I'll be trying out, folks. Of course, I have my usual float setup. Things that I'll be using. I'll be trying it out again. With this the Berkeley Realistic Minnow. I, Pretty much consolidated the power bait, the gulp minnow, and the realistic minnow into one. This is what I have. I have here a little two inch Berkeley realistic minnow. I had a few bites on it, but so far I haven't landed anything on it yet. Still give it a shot. And that's the funny thing about it, folks, is that the gulp minnow and the power bait minnow is uh, more realistic in the water than their realistic minnow and what I'm doing I'm just going to stick it right down the middle and hopefully we can catch this bass today Yes, there we go. There we go. <laughs> First catch using the Berkeley Realistic Minnow. Not a bad size. There it is, folks. Chunky little sunfish. Oh, it's not that little, it's actually about six and a half inch seven inch maybe caught on the Berkeley realistic minnow my first catch on it there we go you know folks it's been about half an hour now had uh, quite a few hits and I landed one with a Berkeley Realistic minnow. Realistic minnow. See if we have. Let's try. There it is. There's a gulp minnow. Well, I'll give it a shot with a gulp minnow. 
usually it's the one lure that I haven't had any problems with. It's the one lure that actually works. Uh, works very well. Use. Let's see. So, we'll give it a shot with a gulp minnow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not by, very much, but he caught us something. Uh, no, it's the power bait minnow. No, nah, I'm running low on the gulp. There it is, folks. <laughs> Once I thought about it, folks, this is actually a two inch power bait minnow. This is one of my older ones. I am running low on the gulp minnows. I need to pick up some more. But uh, not bad. Caught ourselves a little bluegill. Oof. Whoa! There we go! There we go! <laughs> oh! Wow! Well, we caught ourselves a decent size. Sunfish he is about a good probably about a seven inch green sunfish I guess today is a day of uh, bluegills and sunfish folks. So we didn't do badly at all today Caught us uh, a lot of bluegills or quite a few bluegills and We did manage uh, to catch one uh, using a realistic minnow and we still managed to catch us a bass but well, that's about it. I'll be heading home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please smash that like. And consider subscribing, folks, for some more fishing, knives, and kit videos. You guys take care. I'll talk to you later.